the anterior label, there's a socket. Again, the subscale right there. I will take the first syringe now, please. So this is going to be the distension part, okay? So pump a bunch of fluid in. See it's sort of widening the joint. You can feel some pressure. How are you doing? You can come around, Amy, if you want. It's a nice thing. I feel the pressure. Good. So I'm feeling a little resistance now. So I think we need to probably a decent amount of pressure in there. Pretty cool, all right. See you. See a little bit up above. Some little funny colors, so that's good. Any more support? Yeah. How are you feeling? Okay. I can feel the pressure more in this shoulder than I did last time. Okay. On the other. Uh, keep that empty. Going up to drop. Just load up the small one. You, don't yeah. you can see it moving, you know, distending. Just give me the last little bit of fluid, okay? You can see the pressure of the fluid coming back. So I'm going to pump up here again, just sort of pushing it in here. Stretch out. Do you see us any adhesions in this shoulder as you did in the right? Um, no, not as bad, but your capsule is definitely inflamed. It's red. What I mean by that is if you want to look right in here, that's red tinted, okay? This is your subscap, which is a rotator cuff muscle, the ball, the socket, the labrum, and you have your biceps here. So this little inner corner, I can close that. Yeah. Nothing unusual. That's what ex is expected from a uh, frozen shoulder. See the smaller arm to switch so we can get more out. What tends to happen is that as the capsule stretches, the fluid leaks out, which is what is expected. Very rarely, you know, it's closed off, and I can see we lost our space, the whole area sort of shrunk. Okay, so we are done.